Welcome, this is Jason Seacrest, and we are going to go through another step-by-step -step Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So this is what we are going to do today. I am going to be, we're going to be doing the Muppet Man. So what we want to do is I have just already opened it up. Just double click on whichever version of Illustrator that you have. I have three different versions for you. Let's do this. We are going to be dealing specifically with the pencil tool today. You're going to notice that I've already kind of color coded out our character so we can already see where the thicknesses are going to go. And then also I have color coded them so we can distinguish what brush or width profile that we're going to be using as well. So and we're going to have some fun. So what we want to do is just double click on the pencil so we can see some of our settings. Notice that I have the smooth all the way up. I have fill turned off pretty much anytime I'm inking. I don't want fills anywhere. And then I am going to keep selected turned on. So what we are going to be practicing today is how to join on the fly and how to just get, keep those nice sharp corners. So with smoothing turned all the way up, we have to kind of modify our approach to maintain our corners and the pencil tool is a great way of doing that. So I'm just going to click on OK. Let's just come over here. I want to just flip those two. I just want my dark brown for most of our strokes. And let's let's get in there, let's have some fun. So the first thing that you wanna just play around with is how zoomed out you wanna be. And then do notice that we are gonna go nice and smooth, going all the way around. And there is gonna be some nice overlapping. So as you are going through this, we are just gonna try and paste this out. Anytime I see a sharp corner, I'm gonna lift up my pencil. Notice there's that nice little slash. And then I can just come back through. And things you might be able to see on the video, you might not, is the actual line I'm drawing with the tablet itself is pretty horrendous. You would laugh, you would say, there's no way that what's actually coming out. So that smoothing is doing a whole, it's doing a whole lot right now. So just get it down. And then whenever that's turned up, what you should start feeling a little bit more relaxed about is you can really fly getting these lines down. So that is gonna really do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. And it's gonna straighten everything out. It's gonna smooth everything out for you. So it's really, really a nice little process. So I am just drawing. We really haven't come up with anything that's going to overlap. Do notice that since I'm going long with everything, I'm not having any issue with things trying to connect. But we can always come in. We can always edit things. So if things are too sharp, if I need to modify, the tablet does like to add in quite a few points. So the closer you can get, the better. I would also recommend that's why we have the smoothing turned up so much to, is to limit the amount of points. So let's do this in two passes. I'm gonna go one. Notice that it has that nice little slash armpit. I'm just gonna zoom out so we can finish this one all the way down. So what we're actually trading off today is notice that this is really really fast. So we're doing a little bit of a trade-off when it comes to editing and it's kind of like a happy medium on what we covered in the last tutorial where we did the blob brush the blob brush we were skipping over quite a bit and this one is kind of that happy medium of I want to get down my lines fast especially for those of you that are saying I dislike the pen tool but what the trade-off is going to be is we are going to come back through and it's going to take a little bit more time adding back on our thicknesses as well as uh, adding in some of the width variables. So just notice as we go through this, how zoomed out do you like? I personally like it a little. This is actually pretty good. Whenever my hand has to travel across the tablet, then it usually likes to stick. I'm not wearing a little glove or anything. I'm in the market for a glove. If you guys are using one of those gloves, let me know if you like it. Drop it down. We're just coming up. The farther out you get, the tendency is that it will or it might want to join. So let's just zoom in so you can see what it's doing. So notice that it's joining. So if I say, hey, I want this to be its own little separate thing, deselect. So the happy medium when you have that keep selected turned on 
is it will grab, it will try and kind of modify some of those lines. So just be aware of that. And then as we go long, it will prevent that from happening. So if you're really trying to stop it, notice how it's joining. So if that is happening to you, just go a little bit longer. And you can usually, if you just kind of slow down your mouse, you can actually see the mouse or the cursor change when it's saying, hey, I'm gonna try and connect these things. So just go a little bit longer. And since we're adding in all the thicknesses anyway, we're gonna modify all these. So this should feel pretty similar to everything that we are doing with the blob brush, as well as all of our other tutorials that we are using the pen tool. So we go through pretty much the same process. So I'm just gonna do all the face here. And anytime we're dealing with the tablet, just practice. I like showing you guys this one because it's really user friendly. I just lift up, I connect. You don't have anything really weird, especially with the pressure sensitivity. And for those that are just starting, I would not recommend starting with pressure sensitivity until you kind of get the hang of this. Shift X, I'm just gonna hit that little corner. All right, let's do the spoon. We'll do the legs and then we're done. So this one should feel rapid fire. So you're gonna notice that this is really a fun little process to get those lines down. Oh, I think I'll just swoop that right around, get a little drip. For the legs, I'm just gonna click on the pen tool. We're not really getting that fancy. I do have my mouse right now. Click on P again, and since we're doing a closed path, you shouldn't have any really major issues with this. And we're doing nothing but straight lines. Good, so I'm gonna click on Shift C, just do a little rounding on both of those feet. Let's just do a little Shift X, and again, Shift X is that little toggle, and then we'll do a little last second boogie check here, so. And what we want to do is come on in and now clean up all of our lines. So I am going to grab everything. I want to come up to the top. I want to click on object. We're going to do object expand. And then I am going to do it again. Object expand. And notice that first one was expand appearance. What that's going to do is expand all the width profiles that we just added. That with the last one is going to expand all of the lines that we just added a stroke to. So let's just zoom in. Let's just go through this process nice and slow. Every time you guys do a cleanup, and especially as I go through and we get really, really messy here, just be aware that as you guys are doing your own drawing, this becomes very, very easy. So with all this overlapping, I have a pretty high tolerance for overlapping and having things be pretty ugly. As you guys are following along, just realize that as you are doing your own drawing, you have the rough sketch in front of you, and you probably have drawn it a few times, so it is a much, much easier process to figure out. We're actually going to do two different ones, and I'm actually going to go through the easy version first. So notice that I'm just selecting the lines. I come in, Shift E is my eraser, and I am just hiding those lines in each other. So I like the eraser tool, especially for beginners, just because it is very user friendly. There's really not a whole lot to it. I am just hiding each one of those lines within each other. Little things I am looking for every time I edit and remove lines, there could be some little floating corners that we just missed. So just double check that. Other little cleanup method is I'm gonna grab everything. You might need to zoom in for this one, especially if we get to little short little floaters. I am gonna come in to my shape builder. I'm gonna hold down my alt option and then I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna click on those overlaps. So the bigger the overlap, the easier that little process was. So that is a real fast little way of doing it. Let's just zoom in. We'll just keep cranking around. So every time you look at this, if you say, hey, I don't know which one is supposed to be in front, just start with the ones that you think, hey, I know what this one is supposed to be. Most of the time you can start with like the face and then work out. Like you know there's not gonna be big random lines shooting through the face. So you can always just kind of start there. Are there weird corners sticking in? And then work your way out. Find the object that makes sense and then just clean that one up. So let's just use this hat for instance. You can see all these random little corners popping in. Just grab on those. 
I'm gonna go shift E so notice you can do this in bulk just rapid fire as long as they're hiding within that other line then that is just fine other little thing to be aware of is you wouldn't want to edit two of them next to each other because it will erase so what we're trying to do is I just want to erase the ones that are selected so if I grab them all then they will all get deleted so this is a good way of just coming in I want to just delete that one just want to get that little corner and one of those good little processes or thought processes as you are doing this is one I think the eraser is just easier to kind of figure out but if you see big giant overhangs and you think your shape builder can grab it just come on in grab it click alt it does highlight so it does make that a little bit more of a weird process if you are not familiar with it let's just shoot on down to this hand I am just gonna grab all of those let's do a little shape builder and then as things get busier again just start with the ones you can figure out I'm gonna go shape builder I know the handle isn't going through the hand I know my knuckles should be a little bit cleaner I know that that is gonna go behind once you understand that this is gonna highlight then you just kind of ignore it so it's a little annoying when you're getting started but just don't pay attention to it just don't click when it wants you to all right that looks good so we just go through just do a little boogie check if things look off you what you were looking for is little corners hanging out you just need to be really zoomed in especially if you're using a lot of the shape builder those little tiny guys are the ones that get a little bit frustrating so again just go back through and then just use your eraser on those but this looks pretty clean to me so we are ready for that next step we're gonna move directly on to live paint I am going to hide my anchor point guide and let's do this I'm gonna take my magic wand I am gonna grab all of those blacks and this is where I would unite them just to get rid of all of that little random stuff that's fitting in all of those corners that were astray we we're gonna fix all of that I'm gonna go control a let's just come up to the top object I'm gonna drop down to where it says live paint and then I'm going to make and this is where we are gonna go rapid fire filling stuff in click on K K is our live paint bucket major one is just double check that you have all of our pieces colored in even if it's the wrong color wrong color we can still edit so I'm gonna grab it notice there's that nice little expand up at the top so we want to definitely double check that we have expanded everything and then we just want to come through and then ungroup until we can come back and select so I usually just right click as many times until I get a normal pop-up again and that'll be a good signal that we are ready to go all right guys done and done we did it so here are things that I would definitely do if you are going through these step-by-step -step tutorials definitely subscribe definitely put into the comments that you finished and or if you're struggling with anything don't wait definitely put that in right away hey I'm struggling with this and I am stalking those comments nonstop throughout the day. So I try and get back to you as soon as I humanly possibly can. And if you are looking for anything more specific, especially with tablet, all of this has been user driven. So I've been getting quite a few requests on the tablet recently. And so that is where this came from. So with that said, I am done yapping. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you guys on the next step-by-step -step tutorial.